Okay, so... Like, I fought my way through the heroic, managed to get to the boss. So I'm gonna, like, show you how to do the... Like, the Rakra thing for the Syndragosa... Fifth gear thing. Like, I've already fought my way up there, this is the team that you use. Like, use the cookie with appetizer for the extra health. Alex Raza just has an emergency, like, fire thing. And then just normal fire comp. Running, like, the usual fucking fire comp thing. But, when you actually get to, um... To the last bit, you swap, uh, Rag's equipment from... Fire Rune to Sword Thrust, so that you can't be frozen, because that trivializes the final bit. I actually didn't realize I hadn't finished Rag. I was wondering how the hell that guy's Rag had more health. But yeah, it sh this shouldn't be a. This will be really easy. Because without the ability to freeze, he just can't do anything. I didn't even get back to the equipment. But I got ones that boost health. So like, you just nuke him down. Like, there's no reason to attack anything other than him. You just go for the main guy. I suppose you could- I suppose if you got the stupid fireball thing like I do, you could go for that one so it, both of them are crit. They're gonna foolishly attack Antonidas when it's Rag that you need to keep alive. Job done. Yeah, I did that in the wrong order. Ah oh, shit, he actually got his frost elemental off. I had no freeze. Head empty. How the fuck did that not hit Rag at all? Oh, because he hadn't acted yet. How the fuck did he get frozen? But yeah, this is the strat that works, as you've seen. You just need to make sure you definitely put on that rune or else... Wait, how did Rag get frozen again? I just ri Why do things keep getting frozen when they're meant to be immune to being frozen? <laughs> That's in Dragosa thing, which might be useful, but I think it's not going to be that good because you don't really want a cooldown. That that's like the main move. You don't want that after a two-round cooldown. Okay, so I'll do it again just to um, just to fight my way up there, 
and show you like what can go wrong. Um, like what to avoid. Like, last time I had no choice but to do an elite fight. And I didn't even get a good thing from it. Didn't run into any trogs last time. Trogs are probably something that you should try and avoid. Because they were bad enough on normal. So they're probably a fucking nightmare. So if you can, try and avoid the trogs. Fortunately, the stuff isn't that much buffed. It's mainly just their health. Buffed a little. Like, they're not too much stronger than they were regularly. But some of them can be very dangerous. Obviously with these, as you know, you need to, like, get rid of that green one. Which, maybe I should have focused the green one a bit more. Yeah, that was probably a mistake. We got lucky and they didn't attack. Hopefully he doesn't... He, do, he only gets elemental damage. Alright, trogs aren't actually too bad. What you want to try and avoid is Injured Blade Master, because they can be very painful. You should probably try and avoid the Protector Boons as well, because you don't want to give him a buff for health on his stuff, because that might make your life a lot harder. But it also makes your rag harder to kill as well, so... It could work, might not. But I'd recommend not buffing his ship. Pretty sure the pup is like one of the worst things that stay to stay alive. This should just die naturally, I think. Unless maybe not. I'm pretty sure the pup should die from just this. Job's done. So maybe going how much is that? Well, we got the fireball, so this would be a lot easier anyway. Like, I should have a lot easier time than I did last time because I got that fireball buff. Because I didn't have this last time, as you saw. You need to make sure that that thing doesn't have, like, other orcs or else it buffs them. Obviously, avoid um, the pe peons if you see them, because the garrison fucking sucks. I don't know how bad the garrison is on Heroic, but it fucking sucks on normal, so you don't want to fight it on Heroic. That will come in handy. Hopefully the Alec's still frozen on Heroic. I never actually took on an Alec last time. Honestly, if you can get, get beasts, go for them usually. Except for maybe the Alec. The Alec's... I forgot about the Tortolan. <laughs> These crabs should give me enough power anyway. Honestly, I probably should have recorded my original climb up here because the um, that was it, that was going that was a much harder fight than it is this time. But this time I've got like so much better treasures than I did last time. Hooray! 
Like, last time I got absolutely trash tier treasures. Like, this treasure is just overpowered. Like, it's just, every time you cast a, use a move, use another free move. Oh god, if you can avoid Murlocs, we're gonna probably fucking die, because Murlocs are one of the most broken decks. I fucking hate Murlocs. Like, we might actually fail the run now because of that. Like, I wish I was joking, but I'm not. Like, Murlocs are actually that bullshit that they will actually probably make me fail the run. That is just far too much damage. Wasted shot. No, don't die. Stress level's large. So yeah, if you can, avoid Murlocs at all fucking costs. I, I honestly think that is the worst comp you can actually run into with mercenaries. Like, it kills one of my mercenaries, like, every time I run into it. The extra damage could come in handy, though. And, of course, hit portal if you can. But, like I said, just avoid the garrison and the blade master. Like, everything else is pretty easy, as you've seen. We'll do this fight just to show how easy it is if you get actually good treasures. Rather than garbage. <gasps> no! Oh no! I fucked up. Um, alright, so... Remember to, or, remember to swap your rags rune to the frost rune or else this happens. We are about to get our ass fucked up. We are going to die badly. There is zero chance that we can succeed now. Unfortunately, there's no way that you can back out once you enter the combat. I've try I tried very hard to back out, but nope. There's no way to escape it. You cannot escape. Once you've entered it. In all, I should nuke down the um, the one which actually freezes this time. That doesn't help me at all. Maybe not. Maybe I can out DPS it with enough damage and treasures. But we're going to lose whoever he attacks. Alright, no rag. That's kind of bad. Good, that's good they went in that order, because that means that we do extra damage to his thing. Because he throws his thing, so it dealt extra damage to it. Alright, it seems you can recover as long as your treasures are good enough, then you can just fuck him up as well.
I guess this is a lesson and never concede. Might as well open my treasure chest before ending the video.